Welcome, Leo and Crosswatchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box if you ever want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means this could be resonating for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. For your stone today, Leo, I was specifically drawn to Lepidolite. Maybe look at the properties of the stone or use it in your own meditations. I also want to give a shout out to Shantu's Tarot here on YouTube. She's a phenomenal reader. I'm going to link her channel in the description box below. If you guys want to go over there, definitely give her some love and support. Let her know that I sent you. We have It is Safe for You to Love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We have Love Yourself First. Oof. Heart to heart conversations and free yourself. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. It's time to take the control of your life. Honestly, here, Leo, I feel like you're nervous to open up or pursue someone because you're afraid of getting hurt here. Something from the past will be holding you back. Some of you, it could be flipped or reversed. I am getting some cross watcher energy here. But I feel like. This is about putting yourself first, your your needs. You know, being true to yourself. Don't hold yourself back. Just be very open, very, very uh, honest, very direct with what you want, what you need, what you feel. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. I'm just seeing that card. <clears throat> Alright. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Also, guys, be sure to go check out my new channel. I created a second channel here on YouTube. Um, it is called Insight Mystic Intuition, where I'm going to be doing pick and pile readings. So leave me suggestions for what questions we should ask next, and we'll do um, polls, and you guys can decide. Help me pick what question we're going to ask next. <clears throat> it's in the description box as well. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There could be children involved for some of you, or there could be an age difference here. We have the Ace of Wands, that's fire with the hair of Taurus energy. Okay. We have the Five of Wands. Guys, I'm feeling like you are making a decision about someone. Um, uh, let's see, I'm going to read this like a chew, but flip it if it's reverse for some of you. I feel like you're making a decision about somebody. This person could be older than you. That could be a part of the problem. This person could be like a public figure, like, or a boss. Someone who has like some kind of position or authority or influence. Like people look up to this person. People perceive this person very well. This person... Like they have some kind of public recognition about them. People seek this person out for guidance or advice. For some of you, I want to say this person could be a counselor. They could be your therapist. They could be your teacher. Okay. They could be your coworker. Okay. Boss. Um, for some of you, I'm also very specifically getting, they could be like a friend of the family. Honestly, I'm not getting a ton of like their married energy. Some of you, a handful of you could be that, but I don't predominantly feel that for the majority of you. I feel that this person, there's some kind of reputation at stake. Like someone's afraid of this person. Well, they're too, they're, they're too much older than me. People are going to talk about that. There's negative association to that. People may not be willing to accept that kind of energy. But you're very attracted to this person. You could see potentially a future with them. You could see yourself getting married to this person. But there's like people who are trying to interfere in this. The Emperor Aries energy. It could be like your ex-husband or their ex-husband or um, father or something like that. Um, someone's trying to block communication. I even feel like someone may have lied. Um, again, this could be a very specific message just for a handful of you. Okay, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your message, don't force it to fit. For some of you, I kind of get like... They were supposed to, somebody, like, this person reached out to you. And it didn't, the message didn't get through to you because somebody intervened. They interfered. They did not pass the message along that this person was trying to reach you. Um, the full Aries energy, again. Under the deck here, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands. 
Venus Tower, Scorpio energy. So yeah, this person like wants to like impress you. They want to show you, talk to you, but they like they're like holding back because there's like a lot of stress or like upheaval in this connection. Like the tower may have come down to the two of you. Something is like something or someone has interfered in this connection, created issues, um, try to intentionally try to sabotage or keep the two of you apart. I'm gonna get more insight here with these cards. We have Messenger. We have Reunion. House. Misfortune. We have Foe. And journey. Okay, so you guys live at a distance from each other. We also have room here. I feel like someone's inviting you to their house. I just saw 555 five, five on the clock. So, um, so some of you, this person could be inviting you to their house. Um, but after all about change, something in this situation needs to change. Someone needs to free themselves. Uh, I'm honestly getting like a really controlling family member, employer, something like that. Somebody who doesn't want you together. Maybe a jealous coworker, someone very manipulative. Uh, somebody it could be like an ex who's like really jealous still, who pretends to be like a friend, but they're like a friend of me. You know what I mean? There, like, there's distance. Like there's a need to travel to each other. There is reunion here. There's a message coming, and there's a message about reunion. Uh, this person wanted to like see you, talk to you, be around you. Um, this person, I, I really kind of get like they may have like went through like a divorce, a separation. Um, they may have like lost something important to them, you know, some kind of stability in their life. They may have, lo they may even like lose, they may even like lose their support of their family. Like something about their stability or their reputation or something here is like at stake. Um, I mean, if for some of you, if they are married, that, that could be the issue here. Um, something about like a message is being like intercepted or like blocked but there's like a, an invitation to talk to see each they may ask you like come over like come to see you like there's like a, a private room someplace intimate the two of you can like talk about this um like in their like in their energy like, they're very conflicted there could be a lot of conflict fighting drama around them uh like this person they feel kind of protective of you like, they want to protect you like look out for you uh, they may see conflict around you competition they don't want this they're trying to get through to you, but there's somebody or someone trying to like intervene or interfere. Um, because again, it's like messages are not getting through. They some kind of risk involved. They could be like watching tarot readings, or you know, you could as well, but like about them. I feel like somebody's cross watching, but um, trying to get information. Let me get some more cards here. Let's see what else is going on. What else can we learn about the situation? Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. These are general readings. You might find the whole thing resonates, none of it resonates, parts of it resonate. We have mature man and wealthy man. Yeah, I feel like someone's father or like ex is like trying to keep you guys apart. This person could be, like I said, this person you're, the person that you're interested in, the person you're interested in has some kind of like reputation, respect. They have some kind of like business or something that um, people like look at them, they like, uh, respect them there's like this so but someone's interfering someone doesn't want again this could be females as well okay but they were talking about they're showing us men here but um for some of you it's somebody who like wants to like block the situation somebody who doesn't want the two of you to like communicate or come together doesn't want you guys to be happy there's like no clear path someone's like looking for the clear pathway to like come to you to be with you there's like conflict fighting somebody who like just trying to like be involved someone being very childish I do feel like somebody actually may get like really um, good luck here when it comes to like a house. Like I feel like they've lost something. Look at this. We have house here again with, with this fortune. This also could be very symbolic that their household like um, kind of like deteriorated. Like whatever they were financially, their stability, their home, their family. They like lost that. It was very unfortunate. They lost support. They may actually find that they actually have a lot of wealth and abundance and success with you and some kind of change. Again, fives are about change, okay? Like we did see the fives. Uh, let me see if there's more information here in this deck. Reconciliation. You guys may be apart right now. Healing. Okay. So we have fear. 
feelings, anxiety, over uh, thinking, afraid of the unknown. They're feeding this fear, okay? We have divine feminine, emotional, nurturing, empath, healer, loving, understanding, compassionate, growth, and fertility. Uh, we have reconciliation, apology coming back together, and forgiveness. We have healing here, sad, loss, missing you, regret, and pain. And we have doubt. Worry, self-doubt, fear of change, confusion. Yeah, there's some major change or sacrifices that need to be made here so the two of you can come together. Like I said, there's a lot of fear about some kind of transition or change, but I feel like their fears, I feel like whatever this is, like they're actually going to find out they're actually better off where, they are, where they're moving towards. Like whatever they're leaving behind, there's something better here for them. Like, your family may be, like, really supportive. Like, if they're losing their support of their family, um, it could be that your family kind of, like, accepts them and or vice versa. If they're, like, leaving a home, like, losing a lot, they may actually be able to, like, uh, make some kind of, like, su like, sudden change or wealth with you. Like, things are actually looking up. They may get, like, a better job or um, some kind of, like, inheritance or some kind of, like, money coming in, a promotion, raise, that kind of thing. Bonus, something that's, like, giving them more security. Like, this transition is actually opening new doors for them, new opportunities for them. Um, but someone needs to talk about how they feel. Someone needs to talk about how they feel in the situation, what they want. Um, I, again, I feel like this person is, like, really protective of you. I feel like this person, like wants to like look out for you there's like some kind of fear of like somebody interfering somebody being childish i do see reconciliation here though i do see like you guys coming together like this um opportunity here for reunion okay to come together to express your feelings i think it's going to open a lot of doors for the two of you to come together like he's i feel like it's a masculine energy predominantly like he may have missed his opportunity in the past to express how he felt because he's kind of like being, re she's kind of being rejected here. Like she's trying to express to him, but he's looking away. But this is like a reconciliation. Like kind of, you know, now he's he's pursuing her. And again, gender is irrelevant. We talk about energies here, masculine energy. Uh, especially when we talk about twin flame type connections, or someone who's like more, you know, fearful, doubting the connection, not really as in tune with it. The female connection person is usually the energy that's like more emotional, understanding, accepting, uh, acknowledges it, aware. Um, I feel like this person like learned something in the situation. Learned out who their friends really were, who were the enemies. There's a message coming in. So there's a message coming in from this person about reconciliation, about meetings, like getting together some kind of a closed room or space. They want to see you. So, that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sending donations to help the channel. It is truly appreciated. As always, I am wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.